Hello and welcome. In this math tutorial, our task is to find the values of x that satisfy this radical equation. And to solve this problem, we are going to start with a substitution. Let us call this quantity, that is the square root of x, d. Now, of course, you know that this comes with the condition that d must be positive because the square root must be positive. So we have that d must be greater than or equal to zero. Of course, when we square both sides of this equation, we have that x is equal to d squared. Now look at the left-hand side of this equation. You will see another square root. And of course, you know that this square root must also be positive. So that means that this right-hand side, that is 3 minus 2d, must also be greater than or equal to 0. Now, when we add 2d to both sides of this inequality, we have that 3 must be greater than or equal to 2d. And of course, when we divide both sides of this inequality by 2, we have that 3 over 2 must be greater than or equal to d. So not only must d be greater than or equal to 0, we also have that d must be less than or equal to 3 over 2. Now, let us rewrite the original equation in terms of d. So here we have the square root of x, which of course is d squared minus 2. And this is equal to 3 minus 2 times d. Now, what we are going to do is that we will square both sides of this equation. Of course, you know that the square on the left-hand side is going to take care of the square root, leaving us with d squared minus 2. And then on the right-hand side, let us expand this. We have 3 squared, which is 9. We have 2 times 3 times minus 2d. That is going to give us minus 12d. And then we have minus 2d squared. Of course, that is going to give us plus 4d squared. Now, let us move these two terms over to the right-hand side. When we do that, we have 0 left on the left-hand side. And this is equal to 9. Minus 2 going over becomes plus 2. We have minus 12d. We have 4d squared. d squared going over becomes minus d squared. From here, we have that 0 is equal to 9 plus 2 is 11 minus 12d. 4d squared minus d squared is equal to 3d squared. So we have the quadratic equation 3d squared minus 12d plus 11 is equal to 0. Now, we cannot solve this quadratic equation by factorization. So let us use the completing the square method. The first thing we are going to do is to make sure that the coefficient of d squared is 1. So we are going to divide through this equation by 3. Now, 3d squared divided by 3 is d squared. Minus 12d divided by 3 is minus 4d. And we have plus 11 over 3. And 0 divided by 3 remains 0. Now, the next step to solving this equation is to move this constant term over to the right-hand side. So we have d squared minus 4d is equal to minus 11 over 3. Now, the next thing we are going to do is to add the square of half the coefficient of d to both sides of this equation to complete the square. Now, the coefficient of d is minus 4. Half of minus 4 is minus 2. And the square of that is minus 2 squared. So we are going to add minus 2 squared to both the left-hand side and the right-hand side of this equation to complete the square. So we have d squared minus 4d plus minus 2 squared is equal to minus 11 over 3 plus minus 2 squared. Now, the left-hand side of this equation is a perfect square. 
So we are going to take 1D and we are going to take 1 minus 2 and we are going to square both. And this is equal to, on the right hand side, we have minus 11 over 3 plus minus 2 squared is 4. 3 times 4 is 12. 12 minus 11 is 1. So we have 1 over 3 on the right hand side. And of course, the next thing we are going to do is to take square root of both sides of this equation. When we do that, we have that d minus 2 is equal to plus or minus the square root of 1 over 3. From here, we have that d is equal to 2 plus or minus the square root of 1 over 3. So now you can see that we have two values for d. We have that d is equal to 2 plus the square root of 1 over 3. Or d is equal to 2 minus the square root of 1 over 3. But let us remember that d not only must it be greater than or equal to 0, that it, it must be positive. Of course, we have both of these being positive. It must also be less than or equal to 3 over 2. Now, when you look at this, you will see that this is greater than 3 over 2. So this value of D is unacceptable. The value of D that we are going to accept is this. And of course, now that we have a value for D, to find the value of X, which is what we are looking for, we square this. So we have that X is equal to 2 minus root 1 over 3 squared. And to open this bracket, 2 squared is 4. 2 times 2 times minus root 1 over 3 is minus 4 root 1 over 3. And of course, minus root 1 over 3 squared is plus 1 over 3. 3 times 4 is 12. 12 plus 1 is 13. So we have 13 over 3. Then minus. Remember that this is 4 times the square root of 1 is 1. Divided by the square root of 3. So this is equal to 13 over 3 minus 4 over root 3. And this is the value of x that satisfies this radical equation and with that we come to the end of this tutorial i hope you learned something new if you enjoy such content please subscribe to the channel leave us a like to support the channel thanks for watching and see you in the next video